So in the last video, we started off by looking at the runtime of algorithms, and we're going to look at that a little bit more. We're still just looking at it abstractly, just you know, trying to get an idea of why it's so important. So let's talk about sorting. Now, if you've seen algorithms before, you've probably seen a ton of different types of sorts, quick sorts, bubble sorts, merge sort. There's all these different types, and we're going to look at all those individually as we go along. But let's start off by looking at the you know the worst way to sort let's start with that right let's say we have um some numbers right so we have n numbers we have a, an amount of numbers that is n now what is the worst possible way to sort these numbers well the worst way is going to be to look at every single possible way of ordering those numbers listing them all and then going through those and finding the one that is ordered. And when I say ordered, I'm talking about one, two, three, four, five, whatever order you want to go. Let's go with the one, two, three, four, five. It's an easy one. So if you list every single possible one, so let's actually get some numbers here just to take a look at this, right? And look how, how ridiculous this would be. So let's pick uh, four, uh, two, we'll go with three, and I'll pick uh, nine. So we get some different numbers. So if we had those numbers and we want to order them, we would go through every possible combination. So we'd have four, two, nine, three. We'd have to write every one out, and this would go on forever, right? This would just be ridiculous until we find the one that is the ordered one, right? And this is just going to go on forever. So this is clearly awful. In the last video, we learned that anything that was exponential time was going to be awful. Now, how, what type of time is this running in over here, right? So if we take a look at this one and we can try to get an example of how these times are being measured. So how many permutations do we have, right? If we have n numbers, let's go ahead and write that out. If we have n numbers, there will be n permutations. And this is obviously in terms of the actual runtime, which I'm going to be using a big O notation. I'm sure you've seen this. I'll probably have uh, some videos up on it uh, as we go along. Um, so we have the big O notation here. If we have n permutations, we also have n numbers. This means that this is going to be running in the time of factorial n multiplied by n. And this is big O. And a little summary of big O if you need. It means that essentially it's going to be running in a time that it's going to be scaling up at this time, right? So you could have uh, some, you know, coefficient of three in front of it, or you can have another value in it. But really, this is the the, t the rate of change, essentially, right? This is how it's moving. I'll have a better way of it. I'll explain this better in the actual video when I'll focus on it. Uh, right now, I just want to have that up there. So that's essentially the time that it's running in. And this here is going to be a lot bigger than 2n. And we already know that 2n, the, the exponential one, is, is horrible, right? So this is the exponential. And we know that this is just awful. This is a bad runtime. So this right here, when we go ahead and write out every possible outcome, every possible ordering of the numbers is going to be n factorial multiplied by n, which is going to be bigger than 2 to the power of n. So it's going to be bad. Right now, we know that this is going to be bad. We can call this, you know, get, to give it a name, we'll call it the exhaustive search, right? Exhaustive because that's what it is. It's absolutely exhausting to go through every possible outcome. Bad, slow. Just because it gives you the right answer does not mean we want to use it, right? We have plenty of ways to get the right answer, right? It becomes being efficient when we go to try to get that answer. So this is operating in big O factorial n multiplied by n. So what are some other solutions that we know? Well, let's go ahead and write some out here. We could just take a brief little look and we'll look at these in detail later on. We have quick sort, and this one here will run in, I guess I can write some of the times out here just for comparison. This one will write in O, big O of N squared if non-randomized. I'll explain that later on. And quick sort will run in O log of N, which is really good if randomized. And I'll, I'll, I'll have a video on that as we go along. It's nothing to really concern ourselves with right now. Uh, we'll also have, we have some other ones. We have bubble sort. These are just other methods which are going to be a lot quicker. And it's not even a fact of being quicker. It's a, it's a fact of just being, you know, able to actually do it. We also have merge sort over here. 
and that one here is I'll get a new color. That one here is going to be running in O N log of N. And here, this, this might seem like it's not very good, right? N multiplied by the log of N. But a way to, you know, think about the log of N, right? Because a lot of people don't like logs because they don't understand them. Just think of the log of N as a value that's going to be smaller than N. So if N squared is N times N, and then the N log of N is N times a value that's smaller than N, it's clearly going to be a smaller value than N squared. So I could go ahead and actually write that here as lower than big O of n squared. So it's going to be running a bit quicker. And these here are all going to be really good algorithms. So that's all for this video. Just a brief explanation as to, you know, why runtime is so uh, important, right? There's going to be better ways of doing it than just this basic method that we would we would think up if we had no knowledge whatsoever of these algorithms and we wanted, you know, a way that we could just get the right answer. But the right answer is not good enough. And that's one thing you're going to be seeing a lot in this series. So now we're going to start getting into a bit more specific things in the next few videos.